Hello, this is Alex the Margin. In the last three videos, we did a walk in place. And in this video, we're going to do a walking across the surface. So if you look at frame one here, <clears throat> it, you'll see that you start off in pretty much the same position as the walking in place. The issue with moving a character across the surface is noticing the foot positioning and the hips and how they shift forward and up. So let's take a look at that. I have the Morpheus rig here, so go ahead again and select the master controller. I'm going to hit control and A here. I'm going to turn off UI. I'm going to hide that. So let's just go ahead and position our character. This time we're going to have a little bit more freedom. I'm just going to move this foot forward, this foot back. And I'm going to emulate what I saw in frame one. I'm going to bring the hips down a little bit. like my foot controller here and again I'm still gonna go with sort of um, even numbers so here's minus two and then I'm gonna go with positive two here alright and again I have my my selector so let's go ahead and recreate that in this video in case you haven't done it in the last few so what I'm gonna do is open up my script editor clear this out and uncheck all of my selection options except my spline selector. After that's selected, I'm going to click in here and hit control A, then middle mouse drag up to the timeline, hit Mel. So let's go ahead and just sort of create a generic um, position for everything. So I'm going to bring this down here, bring that elbow forward a little bit, and again I'm going with a little bit more freedom here. Same thing here. Okay, so we have a very basic generic position here. So let's take a look at frame four now. Actually, so if you'll notice, I have everything selected, but I never keyed it. So I'm going to go to frame one, just set a key. OK, now I'm going to turn on auto key so everything can, um, uh, everything can sort of auto key as I move it. So I'm going to select the hips here. You'll notice it's keyed. And I'm going to go over to form, frame four. I'm going to pull these hips down a little bit and pull them forward. Now, what I'm looking at is this right here. I'm looking at that the hips line up almost above the heel. Here's my heel here. And what you'll notice is the foot itself doesn't move. So I'm going to go ahead and remove foot roll here. But he goes up on his toes here. So I'm going to remove foot roll at this point. And I'm going to switch it to toe roll. So let's just see how much of movement that gives us. Yeah, that looks great. Now on frame 7, his hips move. Let's go ahead and jump to frame 7. His hips move back up again. And his hips are above this foot. Notice how this foot doesn't move forward or back at all. Just this foot comes forward. And for toe roll, I'm going to extend that up a little bit. Now for his arms, they, at frame 7, they're at the sides. They're at his sides to kind of give him a little bit of balance. All right, so let's take a look at this from the side view. There's 1, 4, 7. Let's go off to 13 here. On frame, or I'm sorry, on frame 10 here. And you'll notice he goes up on his toes on 10, and he's he's almost falling forward, and he's going to catch himself on 13. So let's move these hips forward, almost completely in front of this foot. Down just a little bit, and I'm going to bring this foot forward here. As though he's almost going to catch himself. 
and then utilizing foot roll, I'm going to have him go up on his toes a little bit. All right, let's really kind of offset him here. Here's one. He dips on four. Up on seven. On ten, he's fully extending. Thirteen, I'm going to remove everything from Y. I'm going to put his foot way forward here on thirteen. I'm going to remove toe roll. And I'm going to take foot roll. And I'm going to make that minus two. So he goes back up. Again, I might extend this a little bit more because, again, my hips should be in between both feet. Pull that out just a little bit more. We're going to have him take a really strong step. I play with fo foot roll here a little bit more. Now this foot, as we begin to extend forward, goes down. He's getting a little bit too much bounce. So on seven, I'm going to make sure to zero this out. Goes down, up. He steps on 13. Let's rotate this arm a little bit going this way. Bring this back. All right, so there's one complete step. All right. I'm going to end this video here. In the next video, we're going to take a look at finessing that step. Now, if you continue, um, you can go ahead and continue what we just learned on the other side of the body.